D2 for Armor Recognition editorial team at SOFEX 2016, the International Special Forces Operation Exhibition and Conference in Amman, Jordan. During three days, more than 380 companies from 37 countries will exhibit their latest equipment, especially dedicated for peacekeeping forces, special operation and special forces unit. We took a close look at some of the international defense companies. The Ukrainian company Ukro Boron Prom present the latest generation of Dozor B. The Dozor B is fitted with a remotely weapon station armed with a 7.62 mm machine gun and one 12.7 mm machine gun and one anti tank launcher. Well, the first thing that uh, I want to mention is that we are using a commercial off-the-shelf platform, which is what we call a CUTS. It's a Kenworth platform that is uh, T370 with a Cummins engine. So it's a platform that can actually withstand the weight of this whole vehicle. So you, have, you see a lot of, of little vehicles that cannot really withstand the weight and, you know, they are failing in the field. So we don't touch this type of platform. We use a real platform with real capacity. The front axle and the rear axle together, we have uh, a capacity of about 20,000 kilogram of uh, GVWR. The truck now stands at about 15,000 kilograms. So we have a good, a very good payload on the vehicle. I almost want to think of this truck as a Swiss knife. It's a truck that can be used in many operations. It uh, is one of its best features is the speed of the vehicle can go up to 130 kilometers per hour while still having a lot of torque to climb obstacles. We'd like to also uh, introduce you to a Caracol 816, which is a short stroke piston rifle. Uh, that means that the weapon does not operate with gas going into the, into the bolt and the upper receiver. It utilizes a short stroke piston via the gas block. As the round is set off, gas goes into the gas block with three different settings. The first setting being standard, where the weapon runs at about 750 rounds per minute. Second setting is at the top here, which will be accelerated. Third setting we offer as well is a suppressed mode. New fast patrol boat. It, it's in the service in Serbian Special Forces. Currently in service about three months ago. We have military parades two days ago. We show the boats, show our new products that we include in our in our special forces and our police forces and also in our army. 12 meter long with two engines of 500 horsepower. It's equipped with cannon of uh, 20 millimeter with fire control system, two 30 mm grenade launcher, two light machine gun 762 mm and double 12.7 heavy machine gun on the back of the boat. It's made of aluminium, protection level is Stanak 2, but can be increased by additional plates to protect the crew up to 12.7 mm. We are here at the Suffolk 2016 in order to present some news from the law enforcement and military world, such as the new assault rifle ARX 200, which is based on the platform of the ARX made by Beretta, gas operated system semi auto and full auto rifles in 7.62 by 51 caliber, 20 round magazine, quite light, only 4 kilos. It's provided with a Picatinny rail and it's able to shoot at the range of 800 meters, keeping a precision of less than 1.5 more.
My name is Alexander Jabber. I'm the CEO of MPAC. We're a German, American, and Jordanian company all in one. We've developed a new security system that allows us to integrate more information centers that the traditional security systems do. We take the sensors that other companies create and that make other people good and we integrate them into our system. We've created a complete off-grid system that allows us to install and mount fairly fast without any issue. It gives great versatility due to the modularity of it. We do 24-hour off-grid, we do high-end surveillance up to 18, 20 kilometers, we do lasers, we all do all that kind of stuff. We've placed ourselves right under the military in our specs to avoid the high prices of the military, but to show the quality and the necessity of security. produced the Black Hornet systems, uh, which is the, uh, the, the first combat-proven nano UAV system. Uh, it's a system made for squad-level uh, operations, so it, it's carried on, the, on soldiers' uh, combat gear, uh, and it has uh, by far the smallest UAV vehicles in the world. So the, the UAV itself is a, it's a traditional helicopter design, not the cross rotors that you see is crowding the markets. Why? Well, it has better performance in wind and it's more energy efficient. So it has a, form, a, a full pitch and a, and a swatch plate uh, that controls the, the, the rotors like a normal helicopter. The Black Hornet 1, which was deployed by the UK MOD in Afghanistan back in 2012, was the predecessor of this one. This is the Black Hornet 2. It has a 50% better wind performance, so it flies up to 20 knots of wind. It flies out to 1.6 kilometers of range. It flies beyond line of sights into urban areas, has three cameras pointing in different directions, gives you live video and snapshots in full HD quality. Provide everything live, nothing is stored on the helicopter itself, it's stored on the base station. 